Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Igor here and in this video I'm going to tell you how much you can make driving for Uber in Edmonton. So in Edmonton you're making to about 20 bucks per hour. Just think about it, 20 bucks per hour. It is about full-time drivers are making about $1,000 a week and there are 52 weeks so it is $52,000 per year. Uh, Part-time you can make anywhere from 10,000 to 20,000. It all depends on which hours you drive. So if you drive for Uber part-time and you're very flexible in your schedule, you can make more than 20 bucks an hour. If you drive on Friday evening, sat uh, Saturday midday and evening, and Sunday morning, those are the days where you can make the most. These are the days if you if you have the flexibility. For example, myself, I can only drive so much because you know <clears throat> my wife is going to kill me if, if I spend my entire free time after my regular workplace driving for Uber. So I can only drive this much. I make 200 bucks a week, I work only 10 hours extra, and then my wife is like, "Get back home. That's enough for today." <laughs> So this is the limit, you know, there is no other limit. There is one physical limit and psychological limit. Now physical limit, my physical limit is way bigger than that. I could make more money, more than $200. And $200 a week, it is like about, it is about $10,400 a year. But at the same time, I know I could drive more. But at the same time, there is someone who is going to get me into a bigger trouble than a financial trouble if, <laughs> if I don't get home on time and I spend my whole entire weekend driving for Uber. So this is the limit you might have driving for Uber is family, children, wife, you know, other activities, workplace, those are the limits that kind of boundaries and physical limit. Of course, do not forget that you're a human being because once you start driving for Uber, once you see that money coming, it's like click, 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 click and then you kind of start seeing the more effort you put the more money you make and then at some point you just realize how tired you are so if you don't drive please do not drive for uber more than 12 hours a day i've seen people doing that i did it all i almost did it myself but you know it's like you get to a state where you're like you know what you have to stop but you keep on making more money and you're getting busier 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 and money keep on coming and it's difficult to stop for many drivers so Make make sure you know your limits, and within within those limits, experienced drivers are making fifty two thousand dollars per year. Those guys who are like me now, I got a full time regular job, are driving part time. It's about ten thousand dollars, and anywhere from ten to twenty, depending on how much free time you have. If you're single, no family, and you are recklessly fighting for more money, you can make more. But if you're a married person and you have a family and you have a household to take care of, I would say you can only work like, I don't know, maybe 50 hours, 50 hours a week, maybe like depending on how much you can work. So I work 40 hours in my regular workplace and I make two, 10 hours more and it's an extra $200 and it adds up, it adds up to $800. A month so it's a good income now if you're planning to sign up please don't go away right now check out the link under this video I'm going to leave the description in, in description I'll leave my cell phone number my email address and my full name so you can get your referral bonus even if you're already signed up or in the process of signing up retroactively uber is still going to give it to you if you're fast enough and you provide them with my cell phone number email address and full name and say i'm your friend and i referred you so just make sure you're going to get that bonus because uber is hiding uh, that bonus from people and only drivers know about it so it's like if a driver brings another driver that driver who comes in gets the sign up bonus also, of course, the driver who brings in gets an incentive as well. But, you know, Uber doesn't want to give away that free money if they do not have to. If you go directly with them, they're not going to give it away. So make sure you claim your bonus and let me know if you're driving already in Uber in Edmonton, how much you're making, how it is like, what you like, what you do not like in, a, in the comments right under this video. And see you on the road, guys. Have a good one.